And right now we are continuing to follow two shootings in Winton Hills. Thanks for joining us at five. I'm Megan O'Rourke and I'm Ken Brown. Those shootings were just hours apart and now one woman is dead and a home is left riddled with bullets. So right now Fox 19's Kendall Hyde joins us live from District five, District five with very latest Kendall. Yeah, Winton Hills has been a pretty violent past 24 hours to say, you know, you have one woman get shot at 26 years old and she lost her life. And then just around the corner, 20 plus bullets riddled a home. I just heard about maybe 15, 20 shots from my bedroom window. Around 430 Friday morning, Brett Lilly was getting ready for work when he heard several gunshots outside of his Winton Hills home on Wednesday Avenue. It's kind of scary, but it's sad, but it's, I have not heard a lot. So you kind of get immune to it, but that was at 2 early in the morning. Like I said, I'm so close to the action that I, I heard it getting ready for work myself. Lily's calm reaction and demeanor to Friday morning shooting was alarming to local activist Tierra Powell. And that's scary. We out here, and like you said, it's 22 shots and we have kids walking around. Officers on the scene did not say if anyone died in the shooting, but the Hamilton County Coroner's Office arrived at the home around noon. And five hours before the drive-by shooting on Wednesday Avenue, several shots were fired into a bedroom window on King's Run Court, killing a pregnant 26-year-old mother, Isis Roseman. CPD says they were on the deadly scene on King's Run Court from 11.30 Thursday night until 3.30 Friday morning. Morning, gathering evidence and talking with family members and witnesses. After hours of investigating, police could not confirm if Roseman's murder was a targeted attack or if the two shootings were related. With her mother now dead and 22 shell casings outside of a home less than a block away from each other, Powell says it's time for city leaders and residents to step up and make these communities safe. The city has amazing data. We need for them to use that data. People have talked about more patrol. We have talked about programming a whole bunch. We just need to see more. I think that we hear a lot of plans, but we don't see a lot of movement. And Ken and Megan, right now, police have not made any arrests, and they also say they don't know if these two shootings are in relation to one another. However, they are asking you at home to please call Crime Stoppers at 513-352-3040 if you have any details. Once again, that phone number is 513-352-3040. Reporting to you live at District 5, Kendall High, Fox 19 Now.